Today we're going to go through how to do a multi-camera sync or a multi-camera source sequence uh, depending on how you want to refer to it. Basically what this is is you're taking two cameras that have recorded the same thing and audio which is also recorded separately and syncing all three of those together. This is often done in interviews where you might be using a lapel mic for one person and you want to get the camera angles from two different ways, which is the case of the example that I'm going to be using here. So in my project panel, I've got my folders broken down to audio and the two cameras that we used. So I know with camera two, I've already made a note of which video files I'm going to use. With camera two, I want 0146. With camera one, I want 016B and my audio is going to be 008. Once you do a control click on all three of those to select all three at the same time, you can then right click on it and scroll down to create a multi-camera source sequence. That's going to pull your multi-camera source sequence dialog window up. You can change the name to whatever you want. It can be like a custom name, the video clip name, the audio clip name plus. I usually put it on video clip name Plus, in this case, it's going to be broken nose. That's what, we'll be, that's what we're doing in this tutorial. With the synchronized points, you're basically telling it where you want it to sync. I'm going to leave the, everything to auto for the purpose of this one. When we recorded this, we made sure to get a clap like that. So that way, both cameras were picking up on that audio point and the sound was picking up on that. So this way Premiere Pro knows that that's kind of the starting point where everything's going to sync at. So even though maybe one thing was turned on later than the other, we don't really need to worry about it. Sometimes you'll need to change these if you don't do that or if you want to do other things with it. So just leave everything to the defaults for now. Um, know, maybe someday I'll do a tutorial where I'll go through some reasons to do some of the other options, but uh, for the purpose of this one, this is just the basics. Hit OK. It's going to take a minute to process this. When it's done, it pops up. So in my case, I've got all the original files in the folders where they were, and it created this new one. You can tell, you can look at the, the way the lines are, that that's how you know it's that uh, multi-channel sequence. And it's got the naming, the original file name, plus the broken nose that I put on it. So you're just going to take that, drag it over into your timeline. Now notice what it did here is it's basically got it into two, one video line and one audio line because it synced everything together. In those settings that I mentioned, what you can do is set it so that it will put all of them onto different lines. So basically what it'll do is it'll have one camera on one line, another camera audio on another line, and then the audio from the recorder on a third line. This I find handy sometimes if I want to control which audio I'm working with. But once again, we went with just the basics on this. And in this case, we want it all synced together. What you can also do here, notice if I double click on it, it pulls up in your uh, source monitor here two screens. And basically what this is doing, since we have two cameras, this is telling us which one we want to display at any given point in time. So here I am introducing Why Michelle. and Healy, who has been given Claire this lovely, exciting stuff. And that was me talking into the camera. But let's say we move along here and we then want to cut to the camera of her close up on the face. What you can then do within the timeline window is just hit C on your computer to pull up your little. Uh, slice tool or you can hit it in the or sorry your razor tool and then you can hit it or you can hit it over in the um, tools panel go back to your arrow tool double click on that second one click on the um, video that you want to use and now that's going to be showing so notice what's going to happen here so you can see it's starting to look like skin color interesting yeah. it doesn't have to be exact just near because I would have thought that you put the... And as you can see, the audio doesn't change because we didn't make any changes to that. But now we're cutting back and forth between those two cameras. So let's say a little bit later, I now want to switch back to the other camera. I can just hit the C for the razor tool. Hit the V, uh, 
on your keyboard and that'll automatically pull up the pointer tool. Double click on that next section that you want to make sure that it changes in your source monitor. This is how you know that you're on it. And then just click that window that has the other camera on it. So now you can switch back and forth. Yeah. It doesn't have to be exact. Camera, just to the other camera, to the other camera. You can do this as many times as you want. And you don't have to worry about the audio because you're not actually moving any of the audio on it. Uh, that's real quick, real basic introduction to how a multi-camera source sequence works. Like I said, there's uh, more detailed stuff that you can do in the way that you arrange it and set it up. But this is a great starting point to get you going and get you playing with it. Um, I feel like I should say, you know, subscribe, like, uh, watch the video because, you know, you need to do all that with YouTube channels or whatever. All right, bye.